Hey guys, Mary Jan. So once again, daily vlogger here, living with conditions, 5.55 a.m. Surprised I'm awake uh, since 4 a.m. Uh, but I did go to bed before midnight and kind of wanted to get up at midnight, but I couldn't because my body was so sore. So I went back to bed and <laughs> I'm awake because my kitchen is a mess because we were cleaning the living room yesterday and then I passed out. So... Uh, yeah, unfortunately that's how it is when you have conditions, you gotta do what you can, and then when you're too tired, you gotta, gotta, gotta rest, otherwise you're just gonna overdo yourself. I know I sound like a broken record, but some people just don't take the time to, uh, look after themselves at the same time, so like I said, I'm probably gonna take a nap, like, again around 9 or 10. But I do want to clean up this kitchen before I work on the In Loving Memory projects because yesterday, like I said, we cleaned the table together. And I think that's what kind of tired me out. <laughs> so it's pretty clean now other than like all the In Loving Memory stuff that we got to work on. And I have the craft box here now underneath that I just did. So, yeah, whenever I'm done in the kitchen, and if I'm still awake after I take my shower, then we'll work on projects, but if not, then we'll do it later on. So, like I said, because I have conditions, I can only do what I can. But I'm really loving those lights <laughs> up there. So I think I'm going to get the pink ones that I saw at Dollarama, just so that the pattern's the same. And then later I'll get ones that are... Um, not battery operated and put them everywhere so I have more lights because I do have the skull lights up here but they don't work anymore unfortunately but I still like the skulls on there <coughs> so yeah got to uh got to clean unfortunately like I said I really want to work on projects but I can't I really want to work on the other rooms but I got to clean my kitchen I got to clean my bathroom at some point so I can't work on decluttering till after that, hopefully this weekend. Although tomorrow I'll be out pretty much almost all day because it's GST. So I'll probably be downtown paying off my smokes. And then if I get a little more, I'm going to go to Dollarama, get some more craft stuff. Because I'm really into crafts, <laughs> as you guys know. Um, I even asked in the Buy Nothing group for people if they have any craft stuff they don't want anymore so I don't have to keep spending money on craft stuff because eventually I'm going to turn <clears throat> my storage room into a craft room but not yet because that has to be worked on and that's not my stuff that's somebody else but we also have to declutter this room at some point so there's always so much to do because it's just me it's hard <laughs> So that's why I record, because for me, I watch a lot of YouTubers, like I said, who clean and declutter and do projects and stuff, because that's what I like, so that's why now I do it. So I hope it motivates you guys, but one day we'll get back in here. <laughs> one day. I take it one day at a time, but I am starting to get hungry, so I'm going to... Start cleaning the kitchen, and I'll show you guys what I made. Um, that's why I woke up, because I'm craving udon noodles. <laughs> but like I said, my kitchen is so messy. So again, I do apologize for when I say we're going to do something and we don't do it, because again, I got conditions. I also put out uh, the garbage from the storage room that we did, that we decluttered. Uh, have to take out the recycling still. Maybe one more garbage. So that's a good thing about not having cats right now too. Because when I had three cats, the garbage was pretty much half full just with the cat litter alone. <laughs> so now, and then I've been piling up garbage. So then now I could finally slowly take those out. Like I even have a garbage bag here. <laughs> that has to go out, so... There's not too much space still in the garbage. There's a bit, but yeah, so it's been uh, challenging, but we're going to get around to it. But like I said, most importantly, I always do the kitchen now whenever I wake up because that's where the coffee is. 
And like I said, I don't look after the cats anymore. So now it's uh, looking after the place. <laughs> so there's a lot of work here. And I know a lot of people don't record themselves and their mess because they don't want to show it. But I'm like, no, I'm going to show it because um, it just proves... Because I'm in, I was in the living room all day yesterday cleaning that, and then I passed out. I don't have time to do anything else. <laughs> so you gotta do what you can. And I also posted about my friend Elvis Nelson. Unfortunately, he passed away a few days ago. But um, I don't know if I was allowed to say anything because there's nothing on the social media. But I'm really disappointed that nobody's saying anything except for his friends. That's how I found out. So I'm like, hopefully we'll find out. But Elvis uh, was a really good reggae singer. I saw his albums. He'd always come to my shows. He'd always play at my shows. We'd always hang out. He'd always donate towards the cats, too. So really breaks my heart that he's not here anymore, but I know he's also with the angels and with my cats. So, like, we weren't close, close, but I was close uh, enough to be a fan, I guess. But like I said, he always did play my birthday parties, and he always played at my shows, and he was just a cool guy to hang out with. So, sadly I miss him. But his music will live on, hopefully. So if you guys don't know who he is, check him out, Ellis Nelson. He does reggae music. And I'm going to start cleaning. So I will talk to you guys and show you how much I clean here. But all the stuff on the oven, I got to wash. But first I got to do the cutlery and then wash the stuff and then cook. <laughs> and then hopefully take a shower like I said, I, I clean while, uh, I mean, I have coffee while I clean, and I eat while I clean, but, yeah, that's the way how you gotta do it. <laughs> so, I hope this inspires you guys, and hopefully you guys will hang out with me today. Like I said, you don't have to watch every single video, but, um, I know a lot of people do, so, yeah, my place is a mess. <laughs> And at 2 o'clock, I go well, around 2.40, I have to go spend, pick up family's kids and hang out with them till like 4.30. So I'll probably just like record one on, on the way there like I usually do. <clears throat> we'll see what the weather is like. But I'm doing it two times this week because like I keep saying, for me, being around kids family's kids and being around my family it really does help me right now because I'm all alone other than you guys so and kids always make me feel special and needed so if you ever feel that way and you got family who has kids you could always be like hey could I you know with the kids today and they'll probably let you <laughs> so <clears throat> I mean if you can that is Lucky for me, they're, they're not too far away, but I usually see them at least once a week. This, but like I said, this time it's two times a week because I need the company and it keeps me going. <laughs> so I'm hoping I could take a nap before then. So we'll see how much I could get done. Like I said, just treat every day like it's a game, see how much you could do. And hopefully I could do some in loving memory projects before I take a nap. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys once I'm done cleaning a bit in the kitchen. You're on Phantom Stories, Daily Vlogger.